Welcome, welcome, everyone. And thank you for joining me here for this special announcement that I'm making. Um, I just want to let you guys know that my uh, series, my seven part series on healing from narcissistic abuse is now completely available on Vimeo. Some of you might recall that I, you know, made mention of this in the at the, at the very end of the month lease that I released for this month of November. So um, I said that I would be releasing all parts of the series throughout this month, but I had a lot of encouragement, a lot of motivation to go on and, you know, get this out there sooner than later. And so that's what I've done. I've really pushed hard to get it out there to you guys because I know some of you are really um, needing this. And I do have a trailer here if you want to get more details about it. Just come to um, Vimeo, my on-demand page at vimeo.com on-demand. I should say vimeo.com forward slash on-demand forward slash heal from NARC, N-A-R-C. And there's a trailer here that will give you a lot more details about these videos. And even if you just click on them, it'll explain, you know, what's in each video. But let me say briefly that I've tried to price these very affordably. Like you can rent them for $3.99. You can purchase them for $6.99. I do encourage that you purchase them because they are information dense you will probably, especially if you're not familiar with this, um, you will probably need to watch the video several times over to really let it sink in. Um, so, you know, if at all possible, I encourage you purchasing them. But of course, I try to put that price point there even lower because I know some of you are dealing with challenges, particularly those that are in relationships right now with narcissists. Maybe, you know, you've had bank accounts drained. Maybe you had, um, gosh, a whole bunch of financial abuse, okay, um, which I talk about in this series. So I, I definitely um, sympathize with you guys, and I will share some free resources at the end of this video for those who may be helped by this. Um, but let me say that um, there are a lot of free resources, but I've listened to hundreds, hundreds of videos that it would take for you to get all this information which amounts to six hours, 19 minutes. And, you know, the free information is kind of fragments, pieces here and there, and it takes time to really understand how it all fits together in the grand scheme of things and how to apply it to your life. I've already done that work, and so definitely I think that it is well worth the price. Um, definitely cheaper than going to therapy because let me tell you, to buy all of these, for thirty nine ninety nine, that's like what forty bucks. Um, <laughs> just one hour with a therapist would cost you like what roughly a hundred. And I can tell you from life experience, I have never, never gotten this information out of a therapist. This information came from forty three years of life experience, which I share with you, by the way, and. It's not something I'm going to freely put out on YouTube because I don't want anybody to think I'm gossiping or slandering, but I do want to get personal with you guys. I do want to share at a deeper level. And so this is, you know, that's another reason why this is limited access only, only to Vimeo viewers, okay? Um, but it's not just my 43 years of life experience of being raised by narcissists, being married to a narcissist. It is also... Um, studying, researching, listening to all these free resources, which, you know, like I said, if you've got a lot of time, but not a lot of money, that might be an option for you. Um, however, it's very fragmented bits and pieces. And the majority of the information that's freely available on YouTube talks the problem, not the solution. And that's really Unique. What's unique about this series is that I'm trying to help you heal and recover from empathy deficient relationships and emotionally unavailable people. 
Um, and somebody mentioned to me already, well, what about the narcissist? Well, we talk about that. We talk about in part two, um, you know, what the two of you have in common, what is the common bond? And why is it that codependents and empaths are always found around narcissists and how to not be one of them anymore? <laughs> um, you know, I have compassion to an extent, but this is not a healing series for narcissists. And I'm going to tell you those resources really are not available. And the reason why, which I explain in the series is that the majority of narcissists do not want that type of help. A lot of times, this is not my opinion, this is professional, psychological, well-researched opinion that the majority of narcissists actually are happy with their approach to life and they um, have no desire to change because, you know, what they do is highly effective. So... I just got to put that out there for those of you who are like, well, what about the narcissist? Well, that's, this is about you healing from that. This is about you healing yourself. Um, because a lot of times the narcissist is not seeking healing. That's why there are not resources out there for it. There's just, you know, not a demand for that, but definitely a demand for this. And um, let me say very quickly, not only in part two will you learn what I just mentioned, but in part one, know your enemy, that's where I'm going to help you recognize a narcissist. Can you? Can you recognize one and their manipulation tactics? Because I tell you what, before I learned this stuff, I would get sucked into arguments and disagreements with these people and try to reason with them, not understanding they were trying to brainwash me didn't really see what was going on. I would give these people so much grace. You know, these are the people that you give them an inch and they take a mile and you wonder why it's never enough. It's never enough. And now that doesn't happen to me anymore. I don't, I, I recognize it right off the bat. When I see the tactics, I'm like, oh my gosh, let me get out of here. I jump ship on that before it sinks me. Okay. And so uh, with the know your enemy, video, I'm going to show you how to recognize a narcissist, how to recognize their control and manipulation tactics before, you know, you let it get too far. Part two, I already explained. And then in part three, we're going to talk about the um, faulty childhood programming that has um, predisposed you to uh, attracting these people and maybe even trained you, yes, to emotionally attune to people who aren't doing that for you, right? Like, let's go back to this question that someone said, well, what about healing for the narcissist? What about empathy for them? That's why you're in the trouble you're in, because you've been empathizing with people, you've been trying to emotionally attune and harmonize with people who are not attuning and harmonizing with you and they have no interest in it because it doesn't serve them. So why are you doing this? It's likely that in your childhood there was some type of attachment trauma. You learned to distort reality, which is perfect for the narcissist because um, they can they can exploit that, all right? So, you know, this is learning about what those issues have to do with you and how to heal from them. So it's no longer an Achilles heel in your relationship. In part four, dealing with the narcissist, this is for those of you who have no choice for the time being, but to deal with a narcissist because maybe you roommate with them, uh, you know, you share, you share home with them, uh, maybe you work with them, you have to face this person every day at work, maybe it's your boss, you know, um, maybe you co parent like you got out of the marriage, but you got to deal with this parent every other weekend, or something like that. Okay. So in part four, you know, we discuss what are healthy boundaries, you know, a lot of people throw that term around healthy boundaries. Well, what does that look like in the real world, especially when you're dealing with a narcissist who absolutely hates you, setting them is hell bent on breaking your boundaries, and um, really takes you to task every time you try to maintain them. 
Uh, how do you do that? And why is it also so hard for a codependent or an empath to leave a narcissist? We're going to talk about that in part four. And then in part five, uh, creating healing relationships, um, I talk about getting over the narcissist. Like if you are deciding that you're going to cut off a relationship with one, you're going to go no contact. How do you get over this person? Because a lot of times this reopens attachment trauma, longing for, for emotional needs to be met. They go all the way back to your childhood, which was discussed in part three. Um, so how do you deal with this? Um, how do you have a healing relationship with yourself so that you can then move forward in a healing relationship with someone else? In this uh, video, I'm going to talk about what is self love, because a lot of people, again, throw that term around self love, self love, you just need to love yourself. I used to hate it when people would say that I don't know what that meant. Does that mean I need to go to the salon and get my nails and my hair done? Does that mean that I need to go buy myself something nice at the mall? What does that mean? You know, I'm going to talk about it in this video. And also how to recognize emotionally unavailable people. So we don't even get, we don't get too deeply involved with people who are just not ready to get deeply involved. You know what I'm saying? Um, and by the way, I do want to say very quickly, notice how what, I, what is discussed in, in part five has a tie into what was discussed in part three. So all of these videos dovetail. I mean, if you want to watch them in whatever order you want to watch them, you can. Um, if you feel like, well, I already know about know your enemy. I already know about, about narcissism and their manipulation tactics like gaslighting. I don't need to watch that. I mean, you can, you can skip it. That's the beauty of the way this is set up. Um, but they do all kind of dovetail and overlap in messaging. So just to let you know, um, but the card draw, because I know most of you um, yeah, you watch my channel because you're interested in that. So I basically have drawn cards according to the elements, fire, earth, air, water, right? Fire is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Earth is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Air is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Water is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So all four of those elements, and I pull from six Oracle decks and spend roughly 20 minutes per element. So it is very thorough. A lot of time spent here on this card draw to be very thorough with you and see what kind of healing advice. And um, if you are interested in knowing what decks I'm using, the Oracle decks, are all about healing emotions, healing yourself, letting go, and being self-loving and bringing more love back into your life. And then finally, part seven <laughs> is my story, my journey towards healing. And so in this um, video, it's kind of like my testimonial, right? My testimony of my life story, which I do share a little bit throughout, you know, this series, but it's more cohesively put together here in this video um, that talks about um, not just being raised around narcissists and being married 20 years to a narcissist, um, but it also shares the uh, astrological influences in my birth chart, which may have impacted some of this. And in some way that might be related, you might be able to relate it to your own birth chart as you're doing your own self healing work, you can look at your birth chart and understand why certain dynamics played out a certain way. It's not that the astrology is to blame for these things. It's just to explain that there were energies influencing certain things in your life and the way people chose to handle those energies in a high or a low frequency way, um, you know, that, that was their free will, right? We've got this balance of fate versus free will. So yes, some things are fated in the birth chart and you can see that, but then how people chose to respond to the fated energies with their free will 
gives just it gives just another layer of understanding that I think helps us be more objective in the healing process. It certainly has for me. So um, yeah, if you want to check that out, please, like I said, come on over to Vimeo at vimeo.com forward slash on demand forward slash heal from narc forward slash N-A-R-C narc. Um, and that said, let me tell you, um, if for whatever reason, you know, I, I think I've put these very low. I've tried to make these highly accessible, but you know, shockingly, yes, there are some people who cannot afford three ninety nine. dollars And dear God, when I hear that, my spirit is just grieved. Like, if you can't afford three ninety nine, dollars maybe one video per paycheck, something is very, very wrong. Like, you need to get delivered from a, a spirit of poverty. You need to get deprogrammed from a lack mentality or something and I'm not trying to be judgmental but um, I'm telling you this is a steal of a deal because you can't get therapy this cheap and um, you are worth it and you've got to know that you've got to invest in yourself but you know I'm not trying to judge you I know people have very complicated situations I myself have been in them so let me say, if you um, want free resources, I will share with you what's free here on YouTube. Um, and there's a lot of them. These, this is not at all comprehensive. These are my favorites that I'm sharing with you. Um, just five I'm going to share. The first one is Little Shaman. Okay. And she is really good on focusing on the problem, okay? She's got a lot of resources here having to do with understanding narcissism, okay? Very good resources. But if you want to focus on the solution, which this is a rare, rare find, most videos on here having to do with narcissism, codependency, they're not going to talk the solution, not like this guy. So I would go uh, over to Alan Robarge, attachment trauma therapist here on YouTube. And he has so many, so many resources. Um, and then Evening Ransom. Now she does talk more the problem of narcissism. But the great thing about her is that she does it from uh, on a more of an interpersonal level, less of a therapist, you know, approach because she was married to a narcissist. She was raised by narcissists. So if you're the kind of person who is more into stories and real world examples of dealing with these, uh, dealing with narcissists and how somebody has been there, done that and got out and survived, um, you know, you might want to check her out. And then I just recently found this um, lady, Susan Winter, and um, this is more about just creating healthy healing relationships. Um, she's got a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. Um, And then, of course, there is Teal Swan. A lot of us know about her. Um, she has some playlists on here. Yeah, like self-help playlists. And um, yeah, like there's one on narcissism there. And intermittent relationships. Intermittent reinforcement, I should say. Um, but anyway, a lot of people know about Till Swan and she's definitely like, uh, got a lot of other resources beyond, um, narcissism. It's more about the self healing. This is more about relational healing. And like I said, evening ransom is talking the problem with more on a, on a personal level, uh, little Shaman is talking the problem on more of a um, therapist level. 
And Alan Robarge is talking the solution at a therapist level. So I hope putting that out there helps y'all. But of course, like I said, you could be watching these videos for a very long time. And it might take time to put all the pieces together. I've already done it for you. And I'm sharing my real world experience. 43 years. <laughs> I've been in the battlefield. Yeah, coming out. <laughs> and uh, I'm hoping that this will help you. Um, I hope that it blesses you. It's definitely been a labor of love. And um, I thank you so much. For those of you who have already come over here and purchased and rented, thank you so much for your support. I greatly appreciate it. You are the ones who help me to keep going with this YouTube channel. Without you, it's just not possible. So thank you again, and I wish you all the best. Be blessed.